Ryan Steinekert with Ashley Brown, Rich Rebel football team. Soon to turn your attention to the basketball court, but let's uh, think a little bit more about the football season. The loss to Kanab last Friday in the semifinals. Your thoughts on that game? Yeah, you know, I thought our kids played really hard, and you know we did some things early that if if we had been able to make those things work, like the onside kick, and then we intercepted a ball early, and and neither one of those things turned out for us. But I think if you know if those things would have went our way a little different, you know it might have been a different game. But I was very proud of the kids. They played hard. They worked their butt off and you know and they had a great year coach Horton told me he thought that a couple big things would make the difference in the game and those two things you just mentioned did make a huge difference in the game yeah you know we we thought we could probably get an onside kick there early and so we tried it and we got it and they called us for offsides and you know and then we intercept the ball and then they take it right back from us you know those are big plays that we talked about as a team before the game is when plays are there to be made you got to make them and and we just didn't on a few of them and and I think that was a big difference in the game Overall, this season, 6-5, and five, a winning record and an 11th consecutive appearance in the semifinals. It was another good season for the Rebels. Yeah, you know, we struggled a little bit on offense all year long, and it showed again in the state game. But, you know, I'm very proud of these kids. They worked hard. They were very coachable. Um, you know, they're a great bunch to be around, and they were fun to coach. So, you know, overall, it was a great year, and I'm very proud of them. You did a few things different offensively. You tried that overset. What are some of the other things you told me you'd try differently? Did, did you feel like that had much success? Yeah, you know, that first that first time when we drove the ball down to the 20, you know, that's what we were in most of the time was that overset. And, you know, and they hadn't adjusted yet, so we had some running lanes just based off of the formation that we were in. And, and then finally they adjusted to that, and it made it a little harder for us. But And then we had a quad set that we ran late. But, you know, those things are things that, that did help us, but we still weren't able to get the ball in the end zone. Canab's a pretty good team. They'll be facing Duchesne. Are you going to be cheering for one or the other, or who do you think will win that one? I think it'll be a great game. I think both teams are very good. They're very good up front. Uh, Duchesne runs the ball really well. Canab's more balanced. So I think it'll be a great game, and that's the way it should be for a state championship. You're not going to give uh, one or one team or the other. Here's one thing to consider. Canab has nine state championships. Duchesne has five. That's one less than the Rebels, right? You know, you know, I think they're both great coaches and they both deserve it. And so, you know, either way, you know, hopefully whichever team plays the best is the team that wins. Coach, uh, this year you had uh, maybe more seniors than you've had in a couple of years. Let's talk about some of those guys, what they contributed to the team. You know, we did. We had a great bunch of seniors. We, You know, I don't want to name each one of them individually because I'll forget somebody. But we had a couple of kids that came in that were new that hadn't much, that didn't have any experience. And so, you know, they didn't, they, they struggled a little bit with football. But, you know, we were still glad to have them. But we had a great bunch. You know, we had some kids returning at running back, some kids returning at receiver. But, you know, they were great leaders. They worked hard. They accepted the younger kids playing with them it's just a great bunch of young men and we'll miss them next year one of the strengths of the 2016 rebel football team was the defense and you know that's been one of your strengths at least since i've been here is that something you i mean you put a lot of focus into that don't you oh yeah you know that's one thing if you can stop teams you usually give yourself a chance to win and you know our defense was very good again this year and you know and a lot of that has to do with the other coaches i don't do a whole lot with defense coach smith was a defensive coordinator this year and in years past it's been um, you know, it was Coach Kennedy, and so they just do a great job of preparing them, getting ready, and again, we were very good defensively. That first game of the season you won with defense. Yeah, you know, and, and that's the way we were all year long. Our defense, we knew would be right there, and, and they were, and, and, and it, in most games, it gave us an opportunity to at least, you know, try to win, and, and in the games that we were able to score, we were able to win. How quickly do you transition from okay football's over now let's get inside to the hardwood that round orange ball you know we get a week off and then we start again on monday so we'll have to make sure that you know we're ready and ready to get after it and you know we got some good kids coming back there and we expect a lot out of them anything else we should touch on coach nope just thank you for all your support and always broadcasting us we appreciate it a lot Coach Ashley Brown of the Rich Rebels, congratulations on another great season. It was sure fun to be a part of. I'm always sad when the football season ends, and there's just such a letdown right now. I don't know if you feel that way as well. Oh, yeah. You know, every year you're done, you, you, there's just a different feeling. But, you know, in a week we'll be doing something different. So I guess we'll go from there. Thanks so much for your time. Best of luck uh, moving forward into basketball. Okay, thank you.